Alright y'all, I'm really pumped about today's video. Today we're going to be looking at my microwave keeps tripping the breaker. So whether it's instantly, when you close the door, after it runs for five minutes, the microwave tripping the breaker can be a nuisance. Or maybe you just come up to the microwave and it's not working at all. Let's talk about it now. So here is one of our favorite tools, right? The microwave. Here we put our chicken in, close the door, push the button, and voila, we got hot chicken in two or three minutes. And I love it. So, um, <laughs> you know, the microwave is one of the greatest inventions that ever happened, but sometimes you come up to it and it stops working or it trips the breaker or you're continually having problems. Now, there are a lot of different reasons that it can be tripping the breaker. We're going to touch a few of the key ones today. Now, we're not going to cover any of the fixes on this video. This is just for educational purposes because many of us are just going to go out and replace the microwave or we're going to call a repairman. But there are videos online where you can look into repairing it yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. All right, so one of the main reasons is that one of your switches are bad. So right here in the door, there are multiple switches, limited switches, uh, sensor switches doing all kinds of different things. Some of them are open when you close the door. Some of them are closed when you close the door as far as an open and closed switch. And sometimes they can be bad creating a dead short. So there's going to be about three or four switches depending on your model right here inside the door. You'll actually um, remove the casing and then you will remove, sometimes you'll remove a screw down here and you'll pull this entire face off and that is going to give you access to the switches. Remember, never repeat anything in these videos, just use them for educational purposes only. So one of your switches is bad. Sometimes you can tell it's the switch if, if it trips every time you close the door. So let's say you open the door everything's fine you go to close the door the breaker trips immediately that's going to let me know that it might be down the trail of one of the switches you can purchase these switches and replace them online so another way that it can trip is sometimes you'll you know the door will work fine when you open and close it but as soon as you press the on button in order to you know start the cooking it trips immediately that could be another path that would lead me down thinking it might be one of the switches let's go ahead and look at another one so the motor or other components are going bad so inside here we have the uh, magnetron that is going to be what's uh, you know creating the energy heat waves. This is the wave guide that's gonna they're gonna be bouncing around here. And here's the stirrer. So this is gonna guide the waves, and this is gonna make it so it's not just a uniform waveform. And when it gets in here, it bounces around. You know, for the lack of a better term, it's gonna kind of chop up the wave so it's not cooking in one spot, right? We don't want it to to nuke the one spot. We want those waves to kind of bounce around. And also, this turntable is gonna turn in order to cook it. You know, more evenly. All right, so. With that being said, uh, how you can tell the motor, either for the fan or one of these components here, are starting to go bad is that it will heat for a few minutes or maybe 30 seconds and then trip. And what's happening is, is as it's getting hot, there is likely going to be a nicked place in the wire or a place in the wire that has been melted and it's melted off the coating. And as this thing heats up, just like any other motor, it, that's when the, the trip starts to happen. So then, then you can start thinking, hey, it's a bad motor. Um, it may be one of these other components here as they're getting hot. It shorts out, dead shorts, trips the breaker immediately. And those ones that may run for two minutes, I've had customers where they have ran for you know nine or 10 minutes and then it finally trips. I don't know how often we're running our microwave for nine or 10 minutes, but you know you do and I had this customer where that was the problem. So it would just, uh, you know, they just ended up replacing the device. I don't personally repair appliances, but there are uh, you know people out there that do it and um, you know make a good living doing it. So another reason is is your circuit could be overloaded, and this would also be one that's probably going to develop after a few minutes. So after you know the microwave gets up, it gets hot, it gets running, it's cooking, things are moving, you know the current is at its highest peak that it's going to be running. Then if your microwave is also running your dishwasher or if your microwave is also running your um, kitchen circuits or some lighting circuits, a lot of older homes, they would just you know bring the microwave in and run it off of whatever. So you could just be naturally just overloading the circuit. The solution in this case is going to be, you know, somebody's probably going to have to pull another circuit over to that area and it's likely going to fix the problem. Because, you know, it, one thing I love about circuitry is it's just simple math. If I've got you know, uh, three amps of lighting on, two amps of things plugged into my receptacles, and then I add a 13 amp load <clears throat> of my microwave onto a 15 amp breaker. It's just simple math. 
All right, and another one is if you walk up to it and it's just not functioning at all, you could just have a blown fuse in the microwave. So the microwave, most of them are going to have a fuse inside here. Some of them it's easy to access, some of them it's not, and you may just have a blown fuse. But with that being said, that fuse is in there to protect it from overcurrent. So here's the reason why is the fuse blown. So you may replace the fuse and it blow right again. So then you're looking for one of the other problems that we've already talked about. And the last problem that we need to talk about is AFCI and GFCI breakers or receptacles. So a lot of times these older units are just old and they truly are arcing or they truly are ground faulting. And an arc fault breaker or a ground fault breaker will definitely trip them. If this is the case, likely just replace the device. When they get old, we don't want an old microwave with its old microwaves cooking our food anyways, right? So if you've got an OG microwave and this thing is just old, just have the customer replace it. Or if you're the one, you can just replace it. Yes, it may be your favorite one. Yes, it may cook how you like it. But if it's tripping the arc fault or ground fault breaker, there's really nothing that you can do about it. It's just time to replace the device. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and if there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. If you click on the screen right now, you can actually get a lifetime membership to our Electrical Exam Coach website for only $49.99. Let's get to it.